to do a little video on the rotary table. Just a quick yeah, look at what we got on the rotary table. But uh, here's a flat surface. It's got two, two uh, slots in it. You see there's the two slots. More paper number three hole. And made to put stuff in our mill. And we can rotate slots. Or we can, we can put a little can in it. Uh, this is an eccentric. And things that call for what I was just going to do is just take this piece of aluminum. It's about half inch thick aluminum, and it's just a drop out out of a hole, a hole saw. I'm going to chuck it up. I've got a two, three jawed centering chuck that goes on it. But I'll just mount this up. We may cut a little, a little slot around it, and you can see that that lip that's on it. I might mill it off. Just something to play with, and take a quick look at it. And, See what we think about the rotary table. I'll put the chuck on it and start back trimming. All right, got it set back up on there. My three jaw chuck. I've got just two T bolts. I've got to put in it right here to tighten it down. This thing showing sure up does fit tight. Uh, but I'll put the bolts in it and chuck aluminum up, and we'll start back trimming. All right, got the T-bolts in it. I'm going to back the chuck out. We're going to chuck up off our piece of, piece of aluminum here. I'm just winding the jaws out. Center line of the jaws around the center of, uh, well, I want to support that up off of there just a little bit. So I'll probably, uh, Take our little, uh, we've got a small gauge here. See which one of these we can use. Try this one just to set that up off of there. Barely a little bit. We'll go the next size down. Put that on there. Step block. Yeah, that ought to give us enough to hold to. I'm just going to put these in here, kind of triangulate it a little bit. Hold that. I'm all over the place. Scroll this in. So it begins to seat up on it. Wiggle it around, just make sure it stays as true. This is just goofing off. This ain't even a project. Just... <clears throat> ah, tighten the chuck up early. So there we go. Rotate the handle. See it rotating. We've uh, got like a maybe a five sixteenth ball nose mill in it. Uh, it was just still what was in it. I'll just continuously use it, and uh, we'll cut the edge of this lip off, and uh, then I'll do a slot just 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 to be looking at. All right, got it in it. Got the meal set. Let me see if I can get it really close. See, we're actually the wrong direction. That's the climb milling. We're going with the grain of it. But we'll do most of our milling in a clockwise fashion. Just want to miss the chuck. You hear it start cutting. We'll go around. I'm just going to remove that lip off the top of it. We'll rotate this 360 degrees to see what we got. Steadily turning it. Trying to keep a fairly consistent rotation. Oops, quit milling. As you can see, that little lip. I'm going to stick my finger up there a little bit. But just a slot in the lip. I'm going to take it and see if we can't do a slight slot right in the top of it. Okay, kind of sitting right there. I'm going to mill a little slot in there. Just say this thing here turned on that little ax axle hole, the axle of it. We're just going to cut a, a groove in it, halfway or something. <coughs> a little deeper.
Alright. Let's cut the meal off. Back this down. Give it a blow off here and see what that looks like. I hope you ain't got too much glare on the back of it. But it's a, a balled out groove. Lord, that thing's hard to get a picture of. But that, that that's really all it's for. Uh, all kinds of stuff. You can set that off center to where it moves like that. Uh, it's just one of those things you really need. You can lay out different degrees. Focus in there's early. I, I stopped at like 29 degrees. And then you got up here, four degrees per revolution. I don't know if that shows up. Then it'll measure down to like one, one one tenth of a degree for something super, super accurate that you got to do because they've got to try and make a stump grinder. And they got to lay out a 14 inch diameter plate, and we got to lay the teeth out in a certain order. Each one will be stepped in half, three quarters of an inch, you don't really know yet. But each one of those has got to be stepped in and back. And I've got to make it accurate on both sides of the plate, 180 degrees from one another. But they need to be within a tenth of a degree or two to keep the balance. Uh, so that was the whole purpose behind uh, the rotary table, which is many millions of their uses. But that was a good little project just to show you. What a rotary table table on a vertical meal will do. There we go.